I'm Anil Kumar and in this very first chapter on derivative of functions we need to practice a lot on how to find derivative using first principle and that's the reason why I have this kind of question. So I've taken all familiar functions to work with. So the first one here is a linear function. So determine derivative from first principle for f of x equals to 2 minus 5x. As you know to find derivative, the formula is f dash x is equals to limit h approaches 0 f of x plus h minus f of x over h and that is the limit which we need to find. If the limit exists, then the derivative is exists and we say that the function is differentiable. If the limit does not exist for any particular point, then at that value of x, the function is not differentiable. So let's begin uh, figuring out what is f of x plus h and what is f of x for the given function. So, so the limit in this case, when h approaches 0, for f of x plus h really means replace the function's x value with x plus h. So what we get here is 2 minus 5 times x plus h. So, so that becomes the first term, minus of f x, the function itself, 2 minus 5x, right, divided by h. So that is what it is. Now we need to open the bracket and simplify. So when you open the bracket and simplify, 2 minus 2 is 0, right? So, so let me do it like this, or let me open the bracket and then we'll do it. So we get 2 minus 5x minus 5h minus 2 plus 5x over h. This could be written as limit. h approaches 0. 2 minus 2 is 0. Minus 5x plus 5x is also 0. So we are left with minus 5h in the numerator. So we have minus 5h over h. This could be simplified and written as limit h approaches 0 h and h cancel out so we get minus 5 so f dash x is minus 5 for this particular function so the value is minus 5 so we can write down our answer that for the linear function f dash x or the derivative of the function at any point is minus 5 right so it is constant. So what you observe here is that for a linear function, so what we see is for a linear function, derivative f dash x is constant. And as you can see, it is equal to slope of the line, right? It is slope of line slope of the line here you can see is minus 5 and that is what our derivative is. So remember for a linear function that is to say we can generalize like this. If I have equation y equals to mx plus b right then f dash x will be equal to m. So that is that is very important to remember right. So that is how every linear function will have constant derivative and it will be same as the slope of the function. Thank you.